so hi everyone welcome to placements ready today we will be solving the problem find the string in grid so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a 2d grid of n cross m characters and a word find all occurrences of a given word in a grid a word can be matched in all eight direction at any point okay word is said to be found in a direction if all character match in this direction not in zigzag form okay so for example if you are searching for that word in the right direction so all the characters should appear in the right direction only okay so it's not that key you take the first word uh, at the one point take the other character at the second position and the third character in the downward you don't have to do that if you are following a direction just stick to it so the eight directions can be horizontally left horizontally right vertically up vertically down and four diagonal directions okay note the returning list should be lexicographically smallest if the word can be found in multiple directions starting from the same coordinates the list should contain the following coordinates only once okay so if a word is starting in multiple direction let's say abc is there and abc is there and you want to find abc so we have to use that coordinate only once okay so the grid is abc drf and ghi and the word is abc so abc is present starting from grid 0 comma 0 so that is going to be our output so let's discuss this problem in more detail so let's say the grid is abc def and ghi okay now the word is also abc so what we are gonna do we will be traveling the matrix in row wise and column wise sense okay so first of all what we will do we will match the first character okay because agar first character hi match nahi hoga to koi zarurat nahi hai fir search karne ki so we will compare this and this is it okay so what we will do now we will explore all the eight directions so how can we explore that eight direction let's say this point is x comma y so this point is gonna be x plus 1 y this point is x comma y plus 1 this point is x minus 1 y and this point is gonna be x comma y minus 1 similarly for the top right it will be x plus 1 y minus 1 this will be x plus 1 and y plus 1 okay this di direction is going to be x minus 1 y plus 1 and this point will be x minus 1 and y minus 1 okay so we will be considering this the directions okay so for that you need to make a direction array which will be of size 8 so how we will store that so take this only minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 this will be 0 okay this is going to be plus 1 this is going to be plus 1 plus 1 and 0 so 1 1 0 similarly you can write that for y okay now for every direction we will start matching if it matches with the first character we will start the search then we will match the second character then we will match the third character so every time you uh, search you have to stick to one direction only okay so i hope you have got the approach how we need to search for that let's see that in code so here i have written the direction array dx and dy okay so dx contains all the directions for x and dy contains all the direction for y so this is our dfs function i will come to it later on so first of all what we have done we have taken an answer array because we need to find those points and return it in this format only the rows will be grid dot size and columns will be grid of zero dot size okay so that's pretty simple uh, visited array is not required now we will be iterating over each of the rows and columns so first of all we will match if the grid of ij matches with the first character of the word we will try to explore in all the possible eight directions so for that we have taken a, another loop 
the k will be starting from 0 k is less than 8 and k plus plus and we will be starting the dfs so my current position is i i will be appending the directions basically as i told you so dx will be taking care of that similarly for j okay now we need to stick to one direction only so that i have passed the direction so for that dx and dy the grade will be passed because we need to check for that initially since i have taken one word so my current length of the word is going to be one and or the index is going to be one and the word is this only so now we have pushed back the answer into this and simply we will break out because we need to take that coordinate only once okay now the what the dfs function is doing so these are the base cases so if you at any point of time you get out of the matrix we will simply return false if my grid matches grid of ij matches with the word of that index what we will do we will keep exploring the directions okay and uh, we will keep incrementing the index and if we are not able to find the grid uh, sorry the character we will simply return false and at any point of time if the index reaches the word dot length we will simply return true so what is going to be the time and space complexity for this question this is simply here we are doing dfs okay so, and for all the eight directions it is going to be a the time complexity for the dfs only okay so write down the exact time complexity and space complexity in the comments and i will give it a thumbs up to all those comments which is correct so i hope you liked the video agar koi doubt ho to comment section mein likh dena and let's meet in the next video thanks for watching